Hi children, good morning, how are you? Hope you are fine. I am Kamala Kumari, your science teacher. We are giving you online classes regular. Our next lesson, that is eighth lesson, properties of water, part one. Already we had completed seventh lesson, importance of water. So this is also related to that lesson. During summer, after coming back from school, you feel like drinking cool water and any cool drinks, isn't it? If your mother gives you cool nimbu pani, do you drink it? Yes. Nimbu Pani is a very refreshing drink. Now our activity is nothing but preparation of Nimbu Pani. That is lemon juice. How to prepare. So if you learn from next summer onwards, you can prepare in your house. Activity. Take water in a glass. Add one spoon of sugar, stir, stir means mix, mix this mixture. You observe that sugar disappear in water. Add some lemon juice and a pinch of salt to the mixture and stir it. The lemon juice and salt also disappear in the water. Add two ice cubes if you need if not, you can avoid it to the mixture. Now your lemon juice is ready for drinking. So, so cool, cool lemon juice is ready for drinking. You also prepare this in your house and take a photograph and place the pics to me. Soluble substances. When a substance completely mixes in water, it is said to have got dissolved in water. A substance which dissolves in water is said to be soluble in it. So, the sugar, salt and lemon juice are all soluble in water. When they disappear in water, we can say it, it is soluble in water. You can see the picture. Take a water and add sugar and mix it. So you can see this practically do in your house. Solute and solvent. So what is a solute? What is a solvent? Let us learn. When a substance dissolves completely in any medium, we get a solution. When we mix salt in water, we get a solution of salt water. So this is solution. In the solution, what is solute? The substance that gets dissolved in a medium to form a solution is called a solute. Example, salt, sugar, etc. You can see the picture. That is sugar crystals. Isn't it? It dissolves in water. It is called as a solute. Is it clear? Now, what is a solvent? The medium in which the substance is dissolved is called a solvent. Example, water. You can see the water chip. So, it is called a solvent in the solution. Now, what is solution? When two or more solute dissolve in a solvent, then it is called a solution. Example, lemon juice sugar water, etc. That is called solution. So next, uh, insoluble substances. Till now you studied the soluble substances. Opposite to soluble, insoluble. These are the new words you are learning. Materials that do not get dissolved in water are said to be insoluble in water. Example, stones, stand, rice, wheat, etc. Activity. Let us do practically. Take some water in a glass and add some sand to it and stir thoroughly. 
sand do not disappear in water this shows that sand do not dissolve in water you can see the picture children you can also do in your house this so sand it will not dissolve in water activity another activity to show that insolubility so here we are taking two liquids take two glasses fill them off with water name them a and b add few drops of blue ink in glass a and add few drops of coconut oil in glass b so what do you observe children blue ink dissolves in water so which is soluble already we learned that picture i did not place it whereas coconut oil does not dissolve in water this you can do any oil you can take see how it is uh, seen in the glass it does not dissolve in water that is insoluble we find some gases are soluble in water while others are not gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen dissolve in water in small amounts aquatic animals use this dissolved oxygen for breathing you can see the aquatic animals what are they yes they are fishes they absorb dissolved oxygen which is dissolved in water nitrogen gas it is insoluble in water so oxygen is soluble in water nitrogen gas insoluble both we are you have to learn floating and sinking the materials which do not dissolve in water either float on its surface or sink to the bottom of the container for this one activity is there take two glasses fill them half with water put two or three stones in one glass and two or three leaves in another glass start both thoroughly you can see the picture chill first picture shows the stones and second picture leaves stones and leaves are both are insoluble in water but stones they sink in water to the bottom of the glass and leaves float on the surface you can see this difference so stones they came down bottom of the glass but the leaves they did not come down you can see children so here it is clear that now activity one more activity is there you take two test tubes and fill half with water mix mustard oil in one test tube and carbon tetrachloride in another test tube both are insoluble in water mustard oil floats on water and form a layer above water carbon tetrachloride sinks in water and forms a layer below the water you can see this chill we are floating here sinking both you can see in this activity sand coins pebbles small stones carbon tetrachloride iron nails marbles are the examples of uh, some materials which uh, sink in water cork butter paper thermocol sawdust hair oil mustard oil are the examples of some materials which float on the surface of water you can give more examples you do practical in your house and give the examples that's all for today children thank you go through this video again and again and learn new words thank you children